We're standing right now in the middle of downtown Lewis and Auburn, uh, which was one of the industrial epicenters uh, in the Industrial Revolution at a time that made this river one of the 10 most polluted rivers in the entire country. As you've had these beautiful industrial communities, uh, great downtowns, beautiful architecture, separated by land that's been predominantly undeveloped. We have a clean river, what do we want to do with it? Let's showcase what we've done and enjoy what we've done to reclaim this river. Or a neighborhood group like the Tree Street Center and uh, they want to continue to find unique outings so their kids can get out and explore. Uh, we want to be that resource and we want to be that resource for the Androscoggin River. We're a new nonprofit organization located in downtown Lewiston. During the summertime, we serve upwards of 200 students. The majority of our students are immigrant and refugee youth from Somalia. They have come here to escape different turmoils and war and things going on in their country. Most of the kids, like their experience with the outdoors is in Lewiston, so it's very limited in their perception of what real woods is. And this summer, in partnership with the National Park Service, the Andrew Scoggin Land Trust is going to be taking the Tree Street Youth Center to a local park, a state park, and we'll finish up in a national park, Acadia National Park. Oftentimes our kids don't even understand or recognize like some of the natural beauty and resources like real close to their homes, even within walking distance. So we started last year in partnership with Androscoggin Land Trust to walk them from Tree Street here down to the riverfront of the Androscoggin and we taught them how to fish, how to cast, how to tie worms on. This was my, my first, first time fishing. fishing. <laughs> then all of a sudden they got their first one, then they just started hopping into the, you know, onto the riverbank and they were like, oh, I got one, I got one, I got one. Like, it, they just like exploded and then all the kids would come running and like watch and cheer on that one person reeling one in. They were just like this big. He's lying. My family took me fishing all the time, especially my dad, and and I learned a lot from those experiences. You know how to be patient. You get rewards, but you have to work hard for it. It doesn't always come instantly. You know, seeing the look on the face of a kid when he catches his first fish, it uh, it all it all sort of comes home when you when you see that happen. The Androscoggin Land Trust got its start here at the Riverlands when this property came up for sale. And the people of Lewiston Auburn said, this property needs to be preserved. Back in 1927, there was actually a village at the end of this trail where people from the town of Turner lived and farmed. We are on a very fun hiking trip, which I love the outdoors, so I'm all about it. <laughs> And when the kids uh, found the frog, they were kind of excited. Like they were yelling, frog, I found a frog, I found a frog. We saw a butterfly. We found different types of mushrooms. We learned that people used to live here and this was like a farm. Hiking is really fun. You should try it. They had to flood out this town. This whole village had to migrate out of here. They had to leave their homes. I think it's really important for members of this community, visitors to this region, to really see that the river isn't just a place in one community. It's really a, a connector of, of the stories, not only along the river, but along the river's history. The Park Service, like, they were hooking us up with all kinds of different stuff. They made sure we had all the equipment we needed. The rain didn't phase anyone. Within five minutes of being here, they saw, like, a rabbit hop through our campsite, and everyone was just like, whoa, oh my gosh, we're in the woods. I was excited about hiking in the mountain. Like, i seen so many stuff that I never thought that would be there in the beach, and so many cool rocks, different rocks and all that. It was amazing. For me, that's the most rewarding part of my job, is watching students elbow deep in a tide pool, or out in the forest listening to birdsong, or putting their toes in the sand at Sand Beach. We're looking forward to uh, beginning to shape a generation of students that'll help care for the national parks into the next century. It's so amazing to come to see the ocean, and the first time I'm going to ride the boat.
water was nice and we're gonna see a lot and then also we're gonna hear some animals in the night <laughs> don't be scared i'm gonna try to like rally up my friend and make a, a trip back up here because they would love it too just to get away hang out in the in the woods. I've seen a lot of transformation a lot of these kids and which is exactly the first day of work you don't know what you're doing you're not sure do I can I do this right am I doing this to like just being confident and it's like I'm gonna go for it. I feel like people abuse the environment too much like we always shape it to the way we want and it's so essential that the government protects national parks like this. And if you can get high school kids with their friends going outside they will uh, turn on to it and it will be forever their secret medicine <laughs> for health and happiness. We were able to see this summer how much of an impact we can have on the future of a community just by getting outside, and getting kids outside. And there is huge potential, huge growth potential to do more of that, whether it's new trails that connect some of the existing parks, um, new fishing access, new boat access, or protecting some of the, 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 the wonderful views that make that experience that the, the youth had this summer so unique. It, it changes people's lives, it, re it really does. And uh, to see that with the youth that, that are not only the present of this community, but are the, the future stewards of this community is, is really important for us. It's unmatched, like you can't, you can't like take this experience away from them and what they're able to learn from it. And I say thank you uh, for everyone. Even though you live in a city, you can still get outdoors. Thank <laughs> you.